Do you ever get tired hearing stories from people saying, you know, how your songs have touched their lives, how it's part of their lives? Never. No, I don't think we ever get I think it's a great compliment, you know. I'm Mm -hmm. glad because, you know, some of our listeners, when they heard that you'll be in studio with us today, they already started sharing just, Mm -hmm. you know, their Mm -hmm. their stories. And I've got some, uh, just a couple of the stories here. Cool. Uh, This first one is from a lady called Liz. I was at the age of 20 and I went dancing at a club and I met actually my husband there. The first thing he said to me is, well, I'm not getting married ever. And I said to him, well, you know what? I didn't ask you to get married. I'm just here (laughs) to have a good night. So he asked me to dance and air supply is too little. Only people start playing and we dance. Three months later, he asked me to get married. (laughs) And a year later, um, we got married and we opened the dance floor with two less lonely people. And till today, I remember each word of that uh, love song. And we will be married this October, 21 years. And I love their music. They are absolutely gorgeous. It can't ever get old, you know, especially people singing your your words back to you. Yeah, that's what it's all about. You know, uh, if I go to a, a concert, I want to... I want to hear all the hits and I want to see what they're doing and I want to sing, you know. And people, exactly. People sing everything at our songs from the very first chord to the last one. That was a pretty normal story. But it, yeah. uh, Sylvia has a, a slightly different love tale. Let's listen. To- you know, when I was in my teen years and I decided that I wanted to complete my nursing degree and I was in my final year and working in the plastic surgery ward and... Um, I came around the corner taking charge of the ward and I saw this young man, gorgeous man, so I looked at him and I thought, hmm, but you know what, as a nurse you're not supposed to look at patients or doctors. Only really to find out that he was my neighbor across the road Um, and my dad, my late dad said to me, no biker boys, let alone a health angels driver. (laughs) He then said to me um, on that evening of my last shift, I asked him, I said to him, you look very unhappy, you know, is there something wrong? Are you in pain and and, and all of that? And um, the song of Air Supply was playing All all Out of Love on our nurse's radio. And he looked at me and he said to me, you're one in a million. The song, he says, says it all. I said, why? He says to me, if I can have you in my life, he says, everything will work out for me. He says, without you, I know that I'll be on a downtrodden road. And I looked at him and I said to him, oh, Mr. Crock, I'm, I'm sure it's the morphine or something that's making you, you know, all of that. And he said to me, now I really, really mean this. Yeah, come the 7th of May this year, when we go to the voting stations, we will be married 31 years. Oh, wow. So whenever, wherever we are, we are obviously are very huge air supply fans, all out of love. It's just one song that will stay with him and for me. I hope they're going to be in the crowd wow, this, that's this week. Unbelievable. <laughs> that's amazing, yeah. You know, we, we did a video once in, in Hawaii, a, a concert video. Yeah. And some years later, this lady was at one of our shows, and she said that when her first child was born, she had the video playing in the delivery room. Wow. Because she wanted her child to be exposed to our music. Oh, man. Oh. The first thing into the world, you know. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? This is MBD TV. Martin Best. Best. Best the drive. Jacaranda FM.